I asked the best literary minds of Simon & Schuster to name the books by women that every man should read, and here's what they told me. Last year, I read a revelatory article in The Guardian by Marianne Seacard, a British journalist and the author of The Authority Gap, why women are still taken less seriously than men and what we can do about it. As part of her work, Seagard commissioned Nielsen Book Research to study whether men read women authors as much as women read men. The results were clear and disconcerting. For the top 10 best-selling female authors, Seagart reports that only 19% of their readers are men and 81% are women. But for the top 10 best-selling male authors, 55% of the readers are male and 45% are female. Nonfiction follows a similar pattern. As Seagart puts it, all this suggests that men, consciously or unconsciously, don't accord female authors as much authority as male ones. In Seagart's view, the reading choices that men make narrow their view of the world. She writes, if men don't read books by and about women, they will fail to understand our psyches and lived experience. For as long as I've worked in the publishing business, I've seen the way we perpetuate gender stereotypes. We talk about women's fiction and boy books as if those are monolithic binary audiences, and they shouldn't be. We all need to think more about what we can do to transcend the conventional thinking about the role gender plays in the books we publish, buy, and read. To that end, I sent an email to all of my colleagues at Simon & Schuster and asked them to recommend books by women that men should read. And here are some of the responses I received. Good and Mad by Rebecca Traster was recommended by Jennifer Bergstrom, the publisher of Gallery, who said she is a must-read for modern males. Contrary to what the title suggests, hers is not just an exploration of women's anger, but a brilliant and profound look at how women's collective anger, when harnessed, can change history. Three Women by Lisa Tadeo was suggested by Toy Crockett, who was recently named Sales Rep of the Year by Publishers Weekly. She added, men should read it not to learn what women want, but to witness the long-term effects trauma and abuse have on behavior. Hannah Pocock, an international sales manager at Simon & Schuster UK, suggested Rebecca Solnit's 80 books no women should read which she said gave me the permission I needed to feel discomfort when reading so-called classic books. Sherry Wasserman, one of our production editors, endorses anything by Roxanne Gay, especially Bad Feminist. She added, I'm surprised how ahead of its time it was. She touches on several issues, such as sexual harassment and social justice, before Me Too and Black Lives Matter entered the vernacular. Jordan Rodman, the publicity director of Avid Reader Press, recommended Nora Ephron. Heartburn is one of my all-time favorite books, Jordan said. It captures the pain of heartbreak better than almost any book I've read, aside from maybe Maggie Nelson's Bluettes. It's also brimming with empathy and humor to balance out the dark themes in our lives. Plus, it's peppered with some amazing recipes to even out the heartbreak. My pick is Pay Up, The Future of Women and Work and Why It's Different Than You Think, by one of the most brilliant and inspiring authors I've met, Resh Masajani. She's the founder of Girls Who Code, an organization committed to closing the gender gap in technology. And she's also the architect of the Marshall Plan for Moms, a movement to make life better for women in the workplace. I read Pay Up with a combination of fascination, surprise, and outrage because she connects some alarming trends. Consider these three facts. The United States is the country with the largest drop in marital happiness after the birth of a child. 2 million working women suffer from extreme burnout, and the U.S. contributes $500 to childcare per family compared to nearly $39,000 in other wealthy countries. PayUp offers practical ideas for addressing the strain so many women feel at work by showing how all of us can change our thinking and our behavior. As soon as I read Pay Up, I sent it to the head of Simon & Schuster's Human Resources Department. I think every male manager in America should read this book and learn from it. Those are our picks. But in the comments section, why don't you tell us the books by women that you think every man should read? And that is The Word According to Carl.